The angel vest in his spirit and asks all congregants who have materials on them that belongs to, you know, the juju. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm putting this together, but then, you know, people carry material substance that belongs to, you know, fetish. So, if the angel in this church service asks every individual who carries, and how, how would you even carry a substance that has been given to you by a fetish and send it to church? Come on, why are you in church? If you have to carry those substance or materials to church, given to you by juju people, fetish priests. So watch this video and tell us you be angel arresting everybody who is having, uh, who have visited the juju or fetish priest or have substance with them that belongs to the fetish. Guys, this is very sensitive. Let's watch this one. If you are here and within this year, you have visited a sangoma, a voodoo man, or anything. Judgment is starting today. No, no, say, say, say with me. And if you're with me, and if you're here, just raise your hand if you have ever visited. No, 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 no. If you have ever visited this year, just this year, someone you know was off limits, just raise your hand wherever you are. Whether... And I, I want you to, I want pastors to be able to help me because they might just raise it a little bit. I, I wish I don't find you myself. If you have ever visited somebody or you possess the thing that they gave you, I need it now. I told you, you will not like this one. You are here, you are here. Don't worry about it. So many people who are here have done that, but they are not honest enough. But make sure when I prophesy, you will not be here. If you choose to put your hand down now, when I start prophecy, it will be with judgment. This is the return of the ancient prophet. You are only given one opportunity, and this is the opportunity I'm moving around here with. If you visited a Sangoma, a voodoo man, Juju, or what they call in Zimbabwe a Nganga, even if you have the thing with you now, it might be around your waist. I need it. Raise your hand. Don't, don't worry about these people. This is your day of deliverance. It is your time. I don't care. You are a church member. You are a protocol. You are an usher. You, it doesn't matter. You are a pastor. I need it now. And pastors, make sure they hand you that thing. They, they hold that thing in their hands now. Oh, you were thinking it's a preaching. Yes. Yes. Judgment is starting in the house of God. And I don't want you to go to Shiloh holding something that is an antenna for the devil to get a hold of you. It's a very different service. I, I repeat this. Let me not be the one to catch you prophetically. And pastors, help out. And if they have it somewhere, I want you to hold it with you right there. Baleno Severet Ogisius. 
It's a time. It's a time. And you might be sitting around and singing, you are safe. You're only safe just before prophecy. Come down here, my brother. Come down here. Another one is coming. Understands it. Barali kushe a pan in the kilo. Vretalulia tena mahandis. Kratifino hondi gagas. Follow me here. If you are there and you held it, somebody, somebody gave you something, a charm, a portion. Come here now. Right now, run. Run. Quickly. Run, 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 run. I don't have time. I know the fellow told Very dali grass. I think I have to start with prophecy before I preach. So that we have people. Oh, I still need you. There are so many people. Pato Shepanoko. Give me that. What is in here? It's a skin of what? I think they said giraffe. Of a giraffe. Is there a scientist who can test the skin of a human being? The skin of a giraffe. If you're holding it there, I need it there. Palate, man. In the realm of the spirits, there is a strange fire we can give on the altar. And on that altar, Instead of a real fire to God and a real sacrifice to God, you are offering a strange fire. These that are remaining there are not safe. Those that have come here know exactly what it means. And after you leave here, you will be protected more than you think. In the name of Jesus. Raise your hands toward them now. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the authority of he who died, rose triumphant on the third day, Yeshua Hamashiach, I decree and declare, I decree and declare, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
that these are protected. You don't need to see everything, right? But then I feel like, is it worth it? Is it really worth it to be a Christian and then still have substances that belongs to the devil? I'm not here to pass judgment. I've always been of that assertion that I don't pass judgment. I can't sit on the judgment seat of God and judge people. But the truth of the matter is, is it worth it? If you are a Christian, be a Christian. Learn the ways of Christ. Why would you even go to church and possess substances of the enemy? It's like you belonging to an intelligence in Russia, having possessing microphone, being under surveillance, and then you move into the ICA, having that same personality as an ICA agent in the United States. You really belong to the Russia Secret Service, right? You do belong to the Russia Secret Service. But you are a spy in the ICA of the United States. That's how I can interpret the happenings that we just saw. If you want to be a Christian, learn the ways of Christ. Prophet Ibn Angel has always been vocal about the fact that real Christianity at its lowest level, should be compared to witchcraft. So it means that real Christianity, the real thing, is times one billion of witchcraft. We are very dangerous as Christians. And the thing is, you have taken these substances and materials to protect you. Rather, these things have now exposed you to the demonic realms and their oppressions. They have gotten your attention. They have gotten you monitored. So whatever, I mean, how can you progress if you are able to pick substances like this? Possess them. Send them to church. How can God even bless you? So that is what Prophet Ibanejo did. I'm not going to say much about this. This is the only thing I'm going to say. I think he did the best thing to ever do. If you are going to church for God to help you, do it diligently and not like this, right? So, somebody I saw in the bottle, somebody said he's carrying the body of a giraffe in the bottle. <laughs> giraffe, we all know giraffe belongs to the forest or something like that, the zoo and all that. Now you have the skin of a giraffe in a bottle. What is that going to do for you? If that is supposed to be a protection. Oh, you are even bigger than that thing that is supposed to be protecting you. How can you carry a skin of a giraffe with the mindset that that skin of a giraffe is protecting you? Guys, that's it. That's what I'm going to say. My name is Trader Nixon. I love to break down gospel messages like this. Guys, make sure you subscribe, share, like this.